mail, another Klein tool showed up in the mail. You know, okay, like, see, this log that's laying here, this is where I cut both slabs off. This is the kind of thing I'm using for building, but this one I am using to make beams out of it. And I use that Haddon, and I cut by nailing this 2x6 onto this oak slab. And then I run it down, run it back, I got a beam. You know, after I've already taken the two slabs off. Well, this one is wide enough I can get two 7x7 seven seven beams out of it. But it is the, the same type I'm using for building, you know. And the 7x7 seven seven is because, you know, this 2x6, they aren't really 6, they're a little under. But on the Haddon, you're running an offset because it, it runs right on that. So you end up with about 7x7. Seven seven. But every time I do that, you know, where I nail them on. You know, and, and like this, I could put maybe three nails in and that'll work fine. When I'm working on the bark, like I did when I started, then he sometimes seven to eight nails to keep it stable and to keep it centered. The problem I run into is when I take it apart, when I've got to pull the nails out again, those nails going into that oak can be really tough to get out again. Uh, very often, they'll rip right through this 2x6. Eventually, I'm going to have to replace them. You know, because they're getting, it's just getting all tore up. You know, the whole area that I nail in. And plus, it makes it kind of rough. And it's harder to get a, a good, stable, flat surface to nail on. But, you know, I ain't that fussy. But, like I said, it's always tough to get them up. And I normally I take a crowbar, kind of pop them a little. Then get under there with a claw hammer and twist it sideways, you know. And, I can get them out, but like I said, a lot of times it it tears the wood right out. Because they really stick in this oak. You know, a regular nail, regular 10D nail really sticks. Uh, that's why I have problems sometimes where I'll pop the head off. Well, then i got to get on there with a vice grip and twist and pull it because I don't want to leave nails in the wood. Well, like I said, this has always been a battle, and when looking in the client tools, and somebody actually suggested in the comments. Pine makes what they call a grizzly bar. And it is one big ass heavy duty pry bar that's got a slot for pulling spikes. You know, that, that is a tool. <laughs> that is one heavy duty tool. Uh, they use them. Uh, for stripping forms off of concrete or uh, when you are assembling walls, you know, if you've got to move a wall a little bit on uh, like the prefab kind of housing. Anything really takes a heavy duty pry bar. This is the tool. Now they're kind of, you know, price, I think I paid 80 for this. But they're priced all over the place. You can pay twice that much depending on where you buy them. Uh, same bar, just, you know, some people rip you off. That's all. And the funny part is, like, I know like one of the highest priced places was at, I think it's Granger. Th those wholesale places that are, you know, you know they, you'd think they'd be cheaper, but they never are. They're always much higher. But you, you can look them up, you know, I'll, I'll put the part number. Because a good thing, you know, they always have the part number right on them. But man, that's, you know, super heavy duty. That will do the trick. Yeah, that's impressive. Came in this. <laughs> I was wondering how it would come, but the UPS truck just come with it. Because I'm not working today, but I heard the UPS truck. But I wasn't going to start on this because it's like 20 below. But they had it in the tube that was sealed with metal caps on the end. 
So I had to beat the thing apart. I was thinking I might have to use a chainsaw to get it apart, but I could feel it had the foam plugs on the end, and I was afraid of hooking them with the chain. I might have to hang on to this though. You know, if a guy was mailing like an axe handle or something, you just bang that tube back in. You know, that little end cap. That's different. I hadn't seen that before. But I'll hang on to that in case it's back. I don't know if you were sending a fish pole in the mail, that would work. Interesting mail, huh? But, one more thing to add to my Klein collection. That is an impressive pry bar, though. You know, if you get slammed down under there, that'll pop off. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Heck of a tool.